Living Shadows is based on homelessness and we've been working with the charity Focus for Hope. I wanted to work with uh, Reese Dance because of the physicality and the kind of themes and things that um, are coming through with the piece. Um, I found them really interesting and really relevant um, with today and the kind of things that we're doing is really poignant with kind of society at the moment. So this piece is about homelessness and we started the process off by actually meeting with some people who have had experiences with homelessness and sort of actually just having one-to-one -one conversations where they're explaining their reality about some of the challenges they face and we kind of wanted to take that on board with us to sort of help um, inspire or stimulate the movement and I suppose that actually has been some of the challenges that we've faced throughout the process is actually hearing some of the real things that these people actually do go through and trying to do it, trying not to do it an injustice when we're doing the performance and sort of faking anything but trying to be as most true and authentic as we can be um, with what we've created really. It is important because they are still humans and they want the same thing as everyone else wants just family and they are us and we are them. Um, real challenges I think have been true to what the interviews and conversations that we've had with the organisations, charities and homeless people to kind of really show the kind of raw and uh, trueness of what they've been telling us but it's also been really interesting to learn about that and the support mechanisms that are being offered to these people but it's obviously really challenging to hear about kind of the amount of stuff people go through and how much more support is required. So the process started, um, we met some people that had previously been homeless and we asked them lots of questions, wrote down lots of notes and from that Gavin created tasks, character based tasks that we could then individually create the character that we wanted to have within the piece and what we wanted to portray. I think, um, so the beginning of the process, in order to develop the characters, Gavin sort of um, would say things to us like, I want you to think about um, this person, uh, like a homeless person in mind, someone who you may have seen before, someone that you can visualise, and we started to sort of draw out what that person looked like for us in our mind. Um, and he did this by questioning, questioning us, by saying like, what are they wearing, how do they sound and then it, we took it a bit further like so he would start asking us questions like um, what were they like in their earlier life before they were homeless or what are some of the traits so this actually started taking us past the surface level and actually thinking about the reason why they had the actual personality traits that they did and stuff like that. I think the challenge is it's obviously a hard subject matter that we're covering um, so it's just ma making sure that you do those characters justice and I think the highs have also been when we performed outside and seen the public come in and stop and watch the piece and obviously because people walk, walk past homeless people all the time and then to see them would stop and watch but they would watch us and then obviously the people from the charity were there so it's raising that awareness. The highs of the process have definitely been doing the performance um, in Leeds City Centre. We performed in a variety of different um, areas across Leeds. And I think what was so rewarding about that was not only the fact that there was the, a live audience and people walking by and it changed every different time with every performance, but the fact that at the end we actually met with the Focus for Hope people and we met with the homeless people and sort of got together at the end and it was really nice to sort of finalise that part of the project by getting together and just having a chat with them. I would say I haven't done anything like this before so I've been finding it really interesting and great to work with such like a unique group of people and really be, it's like a really, really enriching experience for myself as a person and as a dancer. I feel like both those elements have really been like fueled and challenged throughout the process.